Welcome to Health and Pharma interview session. It's my pleasure to introduce our guest, Carter Keller, Senior Vice President of the Grief Falls and the CEO of the Giga Gene. You are welcome. Great to meet you, Hussein. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you very much for joining us today. Well, we will uh, dive into Giga Gene's uh, latest breakthrough, Giga 2339, a revolutionary drug candidate for treatment of the hepatitis B virus. Well, uh, we, we may start with some information uh, with your professional journey and background and uh, the mission of the Giga Gene. So um, I'm a chemical engineer by training. The last 20 years, I've been focused on drug development and commercialization. Uh, around 20 years ago, I joined a biotech company called Genentech. Um, and there, I really focused on their pipeline, early stage pipeline, um, the strategy behind their cancer pipeline. And I, I got a great training on the overall development of therapeutics, which I took to multiple different companies. And eventually, I met uh, my co-founder at Gigagen um around 10 years ago and we decided to take what is an incredible very unique technology that allows us to take immune systems and copy them and turn them into polyclonal recombinant drugs um, directed towards infectious disease and autoimmune disease and and turn those into therapeutics it's been a long journey um 10 years um and now we're seeing the fruits of that journey with um, a few clinical programs. We've been working really closely um, with Griffles um, since the beginning. Um, so they made one of our first investments into the company. And then we sold Gigagen to them uh, a few years ago. We act as a subsidiary to them and fill their pipeline with therapeutics. So it's, it's been a really great partnership with Griffles. Could you provide um, an overview of the global burden of the HPV infections and its uh, serious consequence for healthcare system worldwide? Yeah, hepatitis B is a, is a very serious disease. Uh, it impacts around 300 million people worldwide. So think about that. That's almost the whole population of the United States. Um, that is dealing with hepatitis B virus right now, despite vaccines. In about 20% of cases, it leads to cirrhosis or hepatocellular carcinoma. And so it has very serious consequences. And so around 800,000 people worldwide die because of hepatitis B every year. And there is no cure. Um, right now, the therapeutics um, have to be taken every day and they, um, they kind of get in the way of viral replication, but they don't cure the overall disease. And so what happens is your immune system is, is really tired. Um, and so you are really tired because you're fighting this disease all the time. Um, the promise of our therapeutic is to deplete the virus, create a functional cure and bring that immune system back online. Giga 23. 39 is the first recombinant polyclonal drug candidate for HPV. How does um, its mechanism of action differ from the existing treatment options and uh, what makes it potentially more effective? Yeah, so um, this is a very unique drug, not just for hepatitis B, but it's a new way to treat disease completely. So the, our drug is made up of thousands of different antibodies, all directed towards the hepatitis B surface antigen. Um, there are other companies developing monoclonal therapeutics. Ours has thousands of different potent therapeutics towards the hepatitis B surface antigen. Um, what this allows us to do is similar to uh, a natural immune response. We can hit the disease from many different angles, completely, um, coat the the viral particles or the virus itself and then allow the immune system to clear the virus um, so what we're hoping to see 
is that this clears the virus um, very efficiently and that it, it brings the immune system back online and that that natural immune response then completely clears the disease and leads to a functional cure. Could you elaborate on the primary objective of the phase one trail for GIGA 2339 and uh, what specific outcomes you are hoping to achieve in the term of safety and uh, tolerability? Yeah, so this is a safety and tolerability study. Um, so the, the key outcome that we're looking to see is um, creating a safe dose. However, many safety and tolerability studies are done in healthy subjects. Um, our phase one is going to be done in folks dealing with chronic hepatitis B virus. And so the hope is um, that we're going to be able to optimize the safe and tolerable dose that most efficiently clears the disease. So while we're looking for safety and tolerability endpoints, we're going to be monitoring how well our drug works in the patient population we're looking to, to go after. Um, Giga has shown promise in preclinical model by uh, activating the immune response. Uh, can you explain how this um, activation contribute to potential for functional cure? Yeah, like I, I mentioned, in um, people dealing with chronic hepatitis B, what you often see is, is your immune system gets really depressed. Um, you're constantly exposed. Even if you have viral replication, under control, you're constantly exposed to um, hepatitis B surface antigen. And so your immune system is, is for a while always turned on and then gets really tired. Um, at the end of the day, by us coding and, and clearing hepatitis B surface antigen as potently as we do, and we're about 2000 times more potent than current plasma-based products that focus on hepatitis B. So we really believe that we're going to efficiently um, clear hepatitis B surface antigen. The hope is then your immune system is able to kind of reactivate. Um, and then the natural immune response will continue to clear the disease. Um, so this kind of hitting the, the hitting the hepatitis B surface antigen from all different aspects um, with thousands of different antibodies, um, what, we've, what we hope to see is that it leads to um, clearance of the disease completely. Giga Genes platform enabled the creation of the recombinant polyclonal therapies. How does this technology differ from the traditional monocal antibodies development? And uh, what are its uh, border implications for treating infectious diseases? Yeah, thank you for that question. Um, we're really proud of this technology and, and it's being developed. It's been developed for the last 10 years and there's nothing else like it. Um, and it can create an entirely new class of therapeutics, these recombinant polyclonal therapeutics, right? So again, whereas a monoclonal is one therapeutic, we have thousands of therapeutics. How are we able to do this and no one else can? It really is the GigaGen um, platform technology. Um, the immune system is an incredible thing. Um, when you're exposed to a disease, you create thousands of different antibodies toward that disease. And we're all fighting disease 24 hours a day. So at any given time, we have hundreds of thousands of different types of antibodies circulating in our system. What our platform allows us to do is take that entire diversity of antibodies in the best immune responses, and then completely um, recreate that diversity as a therapeutic. Um, so we've started with hepatitis B, we've started with the best immune responses people who have been vaccinated to different types of hepatitis B. We've taken those immune responses and taken their genetic components, so thousands of different um, antibodies, and then filtered the ones that are directed towards hepatitis B surface antigen. So, um, and then recreated those as, as this polyclonal drug. So it's very different from a monoclonal therapeutic um, pathway where you're really looking for one specific, very potent antibody we take the approach of a natural immune response and look at thousands of different antibodies. The benefit of that is not just coding um, the, the 
the virus and the viral particles from many different angles. But as we all know, um, when you target a specific target, it leads to um, mutation. And especially in viruses that are as um, fast replicated, replicating as hepatitis B. And so by hitting it from thousands of different angles, we're gonna hit all the different escape mutations, as well as keep the, the virus from escaping from our specific therapeutic. So this is, um, this is the way natural immune systems work. Ours is a really potent version of that. And we're really excited to see the results in this clinical study. Aside from the Giga2339, could you provide um, an overview of the other promising candidates in Giga genes pipeline? Are there plans to expand the recombinant polyclonal antibodies from platform to other infect, infectious diseases or therapeutic areas, uh, including the development of the Giga 564 for oncology? Yeah, so um, this is GigaGen's second program in the clinic. Giga 564 went into the clinic earlier this year. Um, it is a monoclonal antibody in oncology um, discovered using our platform. Um, so we, we created a library and found a really potent oncology uh, asset. And what it does, um, it similarly turns on the immune system by getting rid of T regulatory cells in the tumor microenvironment. And we're really excited about that program. On the polyclonal side, um, we think this is a new way to treat disease and we want to use it in as many ways as possible. We currently have a partnership with the US government focused on botulinum toxin, but more broadly, we're really trying to look at it as a platform that protects against the next pandemic or any other type of bio threat. Um, so that is something that we're, we're hard at work at. And then we have a pipeline of other infectious diseases and autoimmune therapies that we're developing. Um, Griffles has a, a real focus on folks with, auto, with um, immunodeficiencies. And so we're creating a drug that enhances their therapeutics for people with immunodeficiencies and protects them from the, the, the infectious diseases that they most often see and are at risk of contracting. So um, we call that an IVIG enhancing therapeutic. Um, and behind that, we have a bunch of other really hard to treat infectious diseases um, that we're creating therapeutics for that are incredibly potent, 10,000 times more potent than things that we've seen before. So I, I think we'll talk more about our pipeline as they advance towards the clinic, but we're really excited about the power of this platform to treat diseases that have not been able to be treated in the past. GigaGene recently uh, secured a 135 million deal with uh, Barda. How has this uh, partnership influenced your strategic direction and research capabilities? What are your future plans and uh, expectation after this? Yeah, we couldn't be happier with this partnership the US government. It's a partnership that focuses on protecting um, populations from the next pandemic or bio threats. And we're starting with botulinum toxin, which is one of the most uh, potent toxins known to man. Um, this is a, a real threat if it were to be broadly um, distributed amongst any population. And so the US government has identified it as something that they want to protect uh, folks against. Um, but we have always known that GigaGen's platform is really, really the best protection for any type of bio threat, whether it's a pandemic or, or anything that folks are exposed to. We don't even need to know what the bio threat is. All we have to do is take the best immune responses to that threat and very quickly turn it into a therapeutic. Um, so we believe that the botulinum program is uh, is the beginning of, of a really great partnership that expands our ability to protect everyone from infectious diseases that, um, that are, are real threats to big populations. And nobody wants to go through another pandemic without a therapeutic again. So um, with regards to um, how it, how it uh, supports what we're trying to do, um, this way to treat disease, this new way to treat disease with 
thousands of recombinant antibodies that are incredibly potent for infectious disease is something that we're trying to do as, as broadly as possible and protect as many patients with unmet need as possible. And so this really supports um, our ability to show everyone how powerful this, this platform is um, and, and create more and more therapeutics uh, that protect the, the populations of the world. Well, um, I have uh, finished all my questions for this interview, uh, but I don't know, do you want to add something more or underline any uh, important point in this interview? Yeah, so what I would like to say is, um, you know, Griffles has this, is, is a global therapeutics company um, with a, a real leadership in plasma-based therapeutics. And Gigagen, as a, as a subsidiary of Griffles, uh, aligns with that desire to bring the most innovative therapies based on our, our deep understanding of the immune system and antibodies to as many people as possible. And so um, this has been a great partnership from you know, the very beginning, where they've been supportive of Gigagen, to now um, working as a, as a subsidiary of Griffles hand in hand with them to bring these therapeutics to as many people as possible. And so we're looking forward to, to doing that together in, in really amazing ways. Katsu Keller, thank you very much uh, for this uh, sharing this important insight and information with us. It was a pleasure to have you today. Hussein, it was it was really wonderful meeting you and, and I really appreciated the time. Mm -hmm.